Welcome to our lesson about external references. In my graphic area, I've got a simple part. Let's start by inserting a new assembly. Assembly, OK. Part A is open. Let's click on it and click OK. Inserting the component this way orients the part the same way as the assembly is oriented. Now let's insert a new component. Insert, component, well, there we go, new part. Now SolidWorks asks me to select a plane or planar face for positioning my new part. Instead of selecting the face I want to use to create my part, instead of selecting the face I want to use to create my part, what I'm going to do is select the front plane. And what this will do is orient my newly inserted part the same way as the assemblies oriented. As you can see, for example, the front plane occupies the same space. Notice that SolidWorks adds an in-place mate that makes the component fully defined. OK, let's cancel out of this sketch. Do we want to discard all changes? OK. Let's select this face and insert a sketch. Click Convert Entities. And let's cancel out of the tool and exit the sketch. Let's go to the Features tab. Extruded Boss Base. Under End Condition, let's choose Up to Surface. I'm going to select this face and click Accept. Now let's create a hole. Right click, insert sketch, circle tool. We'll position our hole about here. Let's apply some dimensions now. 20 millimeter diameter. Okay, and let's position our hole. Now instead of using the edge that I'm working on, I'm going to use a different edge. I'll take this one here. 35, okay. And here, 60 millimeters. OK. The sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Back to the Features tab, Extruded Cut. From the end condition, let's use Through All and click OK. And our part is complete. Let's exit Part Editing Mode. Notice our assembly is fully defined. The reason for this is that SolidWorks has automatically created an in-place mate for us. Let's rename our part. First we'll give it a slow double click, and then we'll type in the new name. We'll call it B. Let's save the part and the assembly document. We'll accept the default name. Save externally. And OK. As you see, we've got an arrow next to the part we just created, as well as next to the features and sketches. This arrow, as you remember from previous tutorials, indicates that the component has an external reference. OK, let's close our assembly. Now let's open the part we just created, Part B. Select it and click Open. As you see, now we've got a question mark next to the features and the sketch. What this means is that the reference is now out of context. In other words, SolidWorks can't find the reference now. Part A is what we use to create the reference. That document is currently open. However, SolidWorks still can't find the reference. And that's because the assembly file is closed. Since the assembly file is closed, SolidWorks doesn't have a way to link these two files together. Let's see how we can delete these three external references. Let's begin by right-clicking on Sketch 2, select Edit Sketch. By the way, to view external references, you can right-click on the sketch and select List External References. And here we see the status, Out of Context. Type, 
Convert edge, referenced entity, the edge of the first instance, part A. And let's click OK. Now let's click on Display Delete Relations. Here we can see that all of our relations have got a question mark next to them. That means all of our relations are out of context. If we've got lots of relations, we're able to use a filter to narrow the search. Let's filter by external. Let's select Delete All and click OK. Let's apply some dimensions and relations now. OK. We can do this manually, as I've done, or we can use the fully defined sketch tool. I'll select all entities in sketch, select relations, and dimensions. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. However, notice our sketch still shows the out of context symbol, the question mark. Let's right click and select List External References. We can see the problem is with the sketch plane. Let's cancel out of this window. Now let's right click and edit the sketch plane. Here I'm going to select the top plane and accept. Now we've deleted all external references for sketch 2. Let's move to Boss Extrude 1. Let's check what problem is here. List external references. Here, for the end condition, we use the surface as a reference. Let's cancel out of this window. Before editing Boss Extrude 1, let's check the depth of the extrusion. I'm going to click on the Evaluate tab, Measure Tool. We've got a length measurement of 5 millimeters. Let's close the measure window. Or we can go to Part A and do the same thing here, Measure. 5 millimeters. Let's close. Let's edit Boss Extrude 1, Edit Feature. For the end condition, let's use Blind. Extrusion depth will be 5 millimeters. Tab to register and click OK. Lastly, here we need to delete the external reference for Cut Extrude 1 and Sketch 3. Let's right click on Sketch 3 and select List External References. Here we use two edges to dimension the position of the cut. Let's cancel out of this window. Right click, Edit Sketch. And let's delete both of these dimensions. Select them in the graphic area and press Delete on your keyboard. Now activate the Fully Defined Sketch tool. All entities, OK. Let's exit the sketch. And we've successfully deleted all external references. Let's save. And let's open the assembly. Do we want to rebuild? Let's select No. Right click and delete Part B. Do we want to delete? Yes. Now let's insert a component. Select B, drop it about here. And let's select the assembly origin. Mate. Align axes is automatically checked for us. OK and cancel. Now a tip for future use. If you need to use external references, but you know that later on you're going to be deleting them, there's a step that you can skip in this process. Let's right click and edit this part. Insert a sketch. Right click, new sketch. Unselect everything in the graphic area. Let's select No External References, Offset Entities, and select these four edges. Offset Distance, let's make it 50. Reverse the direction, let's check that. Accept. Now we've created geometry that doesn't have external references. Let's unselect No External References, and again, Offset Entities. I'll select this edge. Let's make it 25 millimeters, reverse the direction, and click OK. Now the line I created has an external reference to this edge. 
Let's exit our sketch. And this concludes our lesson about external references.